Firebug has the Molotov. Molotov, I'm probably going to say, is like A tier. It's one of the best grenades in the game, at least on Firebug once you're max level and you can't light yourself on fire. It's probably one of the worst grenades if you can light yourself on fire, at least for a decent amount of damage. Because it clears up small things really well, but it can hurt you a lot in the early game, so not really a great option there. Then we've got Firebug starting weapon, the Kalkin Burn. This one is like probably a B tier for Firebug. On everybody else, it's D tier. It's terrible on everybody else. On Firebug, it's really good once you have ground fires, though. You can just use this all the way up until you want to buy basically any weapon in the game. It's very effective for killing small and medium Zeds. Not the greatest for killing big Zeds, but that doesn't matter because by the time you're getting to big Zeds, you probably have whatever the heck you want in combination with it. And this was just really solid at the start. Then we have the Spitfire, which is the Spitfire we're going to be talking about quite a bit, with, at least with a single one. Single one's okay on Firebug. I'm going to say it's also B tier. It's lightweight, it's cheap, does good for floor fire. You can hold a lot of shots with it. That's pretty nice. On like Survivalist, you're probably not going to take it because there's better pistols at the same price and at the same weight. But on like Survivalist, it'd probably be lower. Probably like C or D tier. Dual Spitfires is really strong. I'd say this is A tier for Firebug. Does a lot of damage per second. You get a whole lot of shots. You can spam fire this pretty well. You just have to fire at the ground. It's really cost effective because it's super cheap at just the tier two. Uh, it actually scales pretty well with upgrades too. The, the firebug weapons kind of do that, or at least the Spitfires kind of do that for some reason. Again, on like survivalists, you're probably not going to be taking Spitfires. There's just better tier two pistols if you want to take that, or better tier two weapons in general. You go with medic SMG. You could go with like the double barrel. They'd probably get you more value than the Spitfires. They're not terrible, but they're kind of whatever. Then we got to talk about the Dragon's Breath again, which I put into B tier for support. I am actually going to put this one up into S tier for Firebug. It is really good for a tier two. Does really good damage, really good damage per second. Holds a lot of shots if you want to take the bigger magazines. The floor fires are insane with it. It scales well with upgrades. Really good there. It would probably be like B tier on support, A tier on survivalist, and S tier on firebug. That's where I'd probably put it. It's it's actually a really good weapon. It's a really good tier two. Then we have the Mac 10. Mac 10 is kind of an awkward one for firebug. It's honestly pretty fun when you have like infinite ammo during Z time with it, and it holds a lot of shots. But I'm gonna put this one like C tier. It's not as good as some of your other tier two options like the Dragon's Breath or like the Spitfires because you can't put floor fires with it. Holds a lot of shots though, and actually for like um, survivalist, it's an okay option because it's not too expensive. It's still lightweight and it's still a submachine gun, but even then, it, it'd still probably be like C or D tier for them, just because you have other submachine gun options aside from this one. Scorcher is pretty awesome. Scorcher is probably like A tier. This one, uh, with its regular fire, it fires out a flare that hits enemies, burns them, and with the secondary fire, it fires out a broken flare that puts down a bunch of fire on the ground. Very lightweight, very cheap does actually really well on boss wave because a lot of the bosses just stagger from this and it's a good way to keep uh, track of them since you can just constantly put flares on them so if they go invisible it's not too hard to follow them yeah this one's actually really good i like it overall it doesn't weigh too much either scales well with upgrades uh, you're probably not going to take this with survivalist either most of the firebug weapons you're not going to be taking with survivalist just because they don't benefit that much from fire abilities flamethrower is decent it's honestly not one of my favorite weapons anymore i used to use it a lot but it's probably like C tier for me now. It's just, it's kind of too heavy for what you get. And since your tier twos are so good, Flamethrower at one point for Firebug was actually really good, but not really anymore. It, it's still decent. You can still clear up small things really quick with it. It's really good for keeping the floor fire on things. And it could be kind of an upgraded Kalkin Burn. It could also be kind of a downgrade. You could take both of these if you just want to put a bunch of floor fire down. I wouldn't really recommend that, but it's it's an option and it's an okay weapon for like survivalist as well if you just want crowd clear there's still better options than this though so probably glow and then we have the incinerator rifle this is the fire m16 this is probably a tier as well this one's nice basically it's the same as the regular m16 just for fire bug and it fires out fire grenades that are mostly like molotovs so still good sight still good rate of fire good damage outside of that on like survivalist it's okay it's probably like B or C tier. It's still a decent assault rifle. It still is decent for crowd control. Uh, I don't think you can light yourself on fire with this. Maybe you can with the grenade. I'm not entirely sure at close range. So it, it's decent on them too. Yeah, and then we've got the Dragon's Blaze. Dragon's Blaze is probably like A tier. I don't think it's quite as good as like the Dragon's Breath just because of the weight and the cost. It's still quite good though. You can fire this with two different fire modes. It doesn't actually fire out all four barrels like the Doomstick does. This can either fire vertical shots or horizontal shots. Either way, it puts down a lot of floor fire. It does good damage per second, does good damage per shot, works well at close range, works well at long range. 
it's all around just a really good weapon. At least for Firebug on like survivalists, you're not gonna take it. It's like D tier on them or C tier on them. Microwave gun is up next. Microwave gun has always been weird to me. I'm gonna put a B tier. I think it's like right in the middle. Microwaves themselves are pretty strong, but you have to get up close with this. It's secondary fire knocks things back. And it can also count as explosive damage, so you can kill flesh pounds a little bit easier, a little bit quicker that way, and that's kind of nice. But still, very awkward weapon to use a lot of the time. And the micro gun has fluctuated so much. It's either been overpowered or underpowered, and there's been like no in between at any point. I guess now it's kind of like at its most even point, where it's like it's an okay weapon to put on Firebug, and it can be good in certain situations, but it's not like one of their best for any situation, at least any that I can think of. It also weighs a lot at like nine and it costs a lot. So it can be a little bit awkward there. Then we have the Husk Cannon again. I'm just gonna keep the Husk Cannon in A tier. It's probably A tier for Firebug as well. Does good damage, counts as an explosive. So it's good against bosses, especially King Flesh Pound. You can hold a lot of shots with it. You can start floor fires with it. Works really well against Flesh Pounds. That's all really nice. Again, probably lower on like survivalist. Probably like, uh, I don't know, C or D tier. Same thing goes with the microwave gun. Not really a good option for them either. Then we've got the thermite bore. Thermite bore is an easy S tier. This is basically the seal squeal for firebug. And it's even stronger on firebug because you can put down a ton of floor fire with it. You can have infinite ammo during Z time with it. You can hold uh, 12 rounds in it rather than just six. You can spear anything and do high damage just from that, which is nice. And then all the fire on top of it just clears up everything that's small and basically enrages anything that's big, but it doesn't really matter. They're going to be panicking from so much fire. This kills scrakes, kills flesh pounds, kills everything really quick. It's just a really strong weapon for all the crowd control. Not a good weapon to take on survivalist again. It's crowd control, which is okay, but you have better options for the price, for the weight. Or everything like that. Helios Rifle is in a similar spot. It's also S tier for Firebug. It does really good damage, really good damage per second. It's your best use of microwaves in the game, probably out of anything. You can also have a really large magazine with it, which is really nice. And even on other classes like Survivalist, this one isn't bad. It's not amazing on them, but it's still not terrible. So that's kind of fun. 